set within this quiet area of Cavisham Park. It's a three bedroom uh, semi-detached house. Uh, there's a nice side driveway to the front with a garage. Um, there is a little storage cupboard to the left hand side which houses the meters. There's a nice little sort of patio area out the front and then there's a side gate which takes you down to the side of the garden. We'll come in through the front door. So you come in and there's a nice sort of paved um, tiled little sort of um, entrance hall um, and then that is open to a fantastic uh, living space. Um, it's got laminate wood flooring. To the front there is a big double glazed uh, floor to ceiling window and then to the rear there is a nice double glazed window that overlooks the, uh, overlooks the garden. The stairs are so going upstairs and as we come through here a really good size under stairs storage cupboard which goes all the way back in under the stairs and then if we come back out we're into what potentially be the dining area and then we've got the double glazed windows as you see overlooking the garden so we've got a nice nice space here and then we've got a doorway that takes you in through to the kitchen which is a modern kitchen so you've got an oven Foreign gas hob, extractor, plenty of workspace and drawers and then the space in there for the washing machine. There is a door out into the garden here but we shall go upstairs and then come back down into the garden. So if we go up the stairs, We've got three double bedrooms, a bathroom and a separate loo. Um, there is loft access here and there is a loft ladder there. At the top, I turn left and you come into uh, bedroom two, which is a nice size um, double bedroom, plenty of space for wardrobes. And we've got a double glazed window and that's overlooking the front. And then if we come, back out into the landing and we turn left we come into the master bedroom um, which is again a really good sized double bedroom there is space there for wardrobes and there are some storage shelves up there and again you've got a really big double glazed window that overlooks the front and then if we come back out, uh, there's a couple of little storage cupboards here, ideal for sort of linen. And then we come into the third bedroom, which again, it's a nice size. There is fitted wardrobes um, in, in here. So you've got plenty of hanging space. Again, a nice size, a nice size room with a really big, good size double glazed window that's overlooking the rear garden. And then there is a cupboard, a really good airing cupboard um, that has the boiler in and the hot water cylinder and then there is plenty of space uh, for storage. And then if we come back out into the, uh, to the landing, we then have the separate WC, which has got the sink and there's a window to the front. And then we have the bathroom, which again is a really good sized bathroom all the bits and pieces in it, sink, loo, and then a nice bath with a more mounted shower as you can see, with a mixer tap, and a frosted double glazed window to the uh, garden. Really good sized storage cupboard um, in here. And then there is a chrome heated tail rail that's just behind the door. So we will go back out to the landing, back down the stairs, Do we'll have another quick look at the uh, at the living room. Should be nice. And then we can come through and out into the garden. See a nice view of the kitchen again. And then nice sort of garden. So sort of an easy to maintain garden 
and then there is a little path and that just takes you back round to the side which has the gate to the front and one last look at the garden wonderful